<laughs> Get out of here. 3.7 out of 5. Was it an iPhone? It wasn't quite good enough? <laughs> the iPhone. And then the next version is going to be called the Almost. The Almost? It's going to be called the You Tried Phone. Oh. <laughs> the Tried Phone, man. Anyways, winners finals. Arrow Link up against Smash Factory's Yuga. This is an international guest. Let's actually commentate this. So whenever we look at the matchup between Bayonetta and Toon Link, uh, what are some things that you think we can expect in the neutral game? Uh, Toon Link is actually pretty solid at covering these landings of Arrow Link. So, I mean, if Arrow Link's option is I got to get out away from the bombs by using my burner kicks, like jump in the air and do stuff like that, Hugo actually just has so many options to stop him with the up tilt, with the up smash, with the calling the air dodge on the ground forward smash. Arrow Link's just not allowed to land. But he's also not allowed to stay on the ground. Yeah, and because of Hugo's playstyle in particular and the character he plays, uh, he's so good at punishing landings. And then even at the early game, he's up tilts. That was 41%. Ridiculous. He's already lapped him. More up tilts. Sure. The sequel. <laughs> Caught him with a dash attack. Converting off of his bomb, but not uh, making the full conversion. Hey, Pop, toss it up here. Oh, calling out the air dodge, but this time Aerolink smartly just burner kicks up and away. Yeah, it's really good. He needed that kind of burst movement to get out of that that's very, very scary situation. Mm -hmm. But Yuga, he's going to take that piece of information, and he's going to try to figure out the counterplay. Almost ran into that witch time, just terrified him into rolling. I mean, where else would he roll? To the corner? I mean, sometimes that's what you got to do against Toon Link. If they're just running directly at you, he might actually be able to turn around. I don't know if you roll in at him, if he can catch you with the turnaround forward smash. Yeah, that's what makes it scary, man. He but might you, be able to. That would, you know, whenever we looked at um, Cosmos playing against Yuga, hmm. uh, he told me straight up in why he lost the winners was because Yuga did a great job of understanding and calling out the rules away that Kaza would be doing. And he gained a lot out of just mixing in some occasional roll ins to trip up Hugo, who was reading really hard for the rolls away. Yeah, I mean, the, the only level one is I'm going to roll towards the center stage. That's what everyone wants to do at the base level because it is good. You are closer to center stage. You don't get killed earlier. But if everybody's doing it, it's a bad decision. So sometimes you got to mix in that next level Yomi I am rolling away to an unfavorable position to get away from your follow-up. Well, you can't get away from these follow-ups. Aerolink very nearly taking the stock. Huge punish, netting 88 onto Yuga. Not far enough in the blast zone to finish it. Ooh. That was, was something that we said in our preview about how the bombs could potentially disrupt the combos. We're seeing it now. Yuga just waiting patiently for the roll, and once it came, was able to capitalize. Here from Aerolink. He's trying to keep Hugo off stage. It looked like he was trying to go for something like a Trump, and Hugo. He ran straight past Ooh. him. Man, uh, Aerolink knew that he wanted to get that up smash. So he air dodged in the ground and got forward smashed. Hugo is a monster at landing match. Just a constant mix ups. So you're always on your toes. It just feels like you're never safe upon landing. Aerolink, however, is able to bring it back to a stock piece. Yeah, now I mean, the dance in neutral begins again. He wants to avoid the up tilt from Hyuga here. He knows that they can combo into so much early damage. Right. This is so much closer than last game, mostly because I don't think Iggy, or I don't think Aerolink is getting overwhelmed by the bombs. He didn't land into almost any of those ridiculous up tilt strings that took so much damage early game last time. But he's been able to use these platforms really well to avoid the bombs and the witch time. Tried to go for the spike there. Expected him to be a little bit lower. Yuga manages to get the aerial, catch the bomb on top of that. Because he's so slow with the tosses of his bombs, of his bomb pulls, he's I inevitably, not only is he more precise, but he's also more unpredictable right there. Bomb aerial. I mean, Aerolink kept it close for the first stocks, and then Hugo was able to answer back, like, all right. I've had one full stock to adapt to all the things you've been doing. That's crazy. He's so quick at that. I feel like he plays like the perfect character to actually do that with, yeah. too. Because when you're playing Toon Link, 
If you have a lock on your opponent's movements, if you fully adapted to where they want to be and when, you can cut off all their options for movement. You got the boomerang in the right spot, and the, once you hit them with a the bomb, it's just free confirms. I don't know what other character can so well lock down everything your opponent wants to do when you got those kinds of reads. I mean, Diddy Kong could probably do a good job of it. She